हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सुनील सोनिग्रा एंड टुडे इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ एलिमेंट्स ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग वी विल डिस्कस द फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज द फर्स्ट जीरो एथ लॉ एंड फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स वी विल डिस्कस हाउ दीज लॉज आर एप्लीकेबल एंड वॉट आर द लॉज एंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव फॉर टूडेज डिस्कशन आर द फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव टू डिस्कस द स्टेटमेंट स्टेटमेंट्स ऑफ जीरो एथ लॉ एंड फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स विथ इट्स एप्लीकेशन then to understand the basics of work done on a closed system and to understand work and heat transfer this is the outline for today's work now first zeroth law of thermodynamics what is the zeroth law of thermodynamics so for that let me see one presentation zeroth law of thermodynamics let us understand the concept of thermal and the zeroth law of thermodynamics in this session thermal equilibrium the word equilibrium means a state of balance when we place a cup of hot chocolate in a room after some time this is because both the systems which were in thermal contact so that is regarding zeroth law of thermodynamics now second let we see the theory animation regarding zeroth law of thermodynamics then another theory animation regarding the law of thermodynamics
now next thermodynamic work what is thermodynamic work and what is actual work or mechanical work thermodynamic work is an interaction between the system and surrounding and the work is said to be done by the system on surrounding if the complete external effect is lifting up of the body means if any body is lifted that could be said is work is done say so shown here the system is there this is the system and this is the boundary of the system here heat goes out and work is done on the system you can see here so heat is uh, heat is added which is represented by plus or positive heat is rejected and work could be done with the help of this heat and that is equal to the difference of these two heats work is done by the system it is taken as positive if work is done is system does the work it is taken as positive like this suppose this is the system and if system does the work w is positive if work is done on the system it is taken as negative like this if this is the work done it is done on the system then this is negative work now examples of positive work and negative work internal combustion engine turbine heat engine etc are system is doing work in all these cases hence these all are the examples of positive work because work is done by the system and negative work compressor refrigerator heat pump etc are the devices which consumes the work or work is done on the system hence this kind of work is taken as negative work represented by w negative now what is difference between mechanical work and thermodynamic work the product of force and distance is known as mechanical work where the actual physical movement of point of application of force is necessary as shown over here this is the example of mechanical work this object is moved from this point to this point it travels the distance d and hence this kind of work is the example of mechanical work whereas here suppose this fluid is heated then the movement is not there even though thermodynamic work is said to be done whereas this is the example of mechanical work in thermodynamic work this physical movement may not take place as represented over here now work done on a closed system let me see one animation how to find out work done on a closed system this session we will study the derivation of work done on a closed system in quasi static process we will also discuss the limitations of work done first of all let us study the derivation of work done on a closed system consider a piston cylinder containing a certain amount of gas now observe that the pressure exerted by the gas is balanced by the weights on the piston to keep the system in equilibrium if we reduce some amount of weight then in that case piston will move upwards through small distance dl because of the pressure of the gas let p be the pressure exerted by the gas and a be the cross sectional area of the piston therefore the force exerted on the piston f is equal to p into a in case of quasi static process the work done by the system can be expressed as the assumption for the above expression is that the pressure is uniform 
but during this whole process a system passes through a series of equilibrium states observe the given pv diagram consider a system travels from initial state of equilibrium 1 to final state 2 the area under the curve that is 1 2 3 4 represents the work done now the equation for work can be written as note that w equals integration p into dv is valid only for quasi static and reversible process let us see the limitations of p into dv work the equation for work w equals integration p into dv is valid under the following conditions 1 if the system is a closed system 2 when the process is quasi static that is frictionless and reversible 3 when starting and end states of the process are known 4 when the properties have unique value during the process at all points on process path 5 effects of gravity magnetism electricity etc on the system are not considered and 6 there is no effect of viscosity on the system let us revise the topics covered in this session we studied the derivation for the work done on a closed system and limitations of p into dv work so that we have seen about work done now work and heat transfer what is work and heat transfer thermodynamics in this session we will learn all the fundamentals of heat thermodynamic work internal energy and thermodynamic state what is heat heat is a form of energy heat is also known as thermal energy we use heat energy a lot in our daily life from cooking dinner to riding vehicles but do we know how heat develops in matter heat energy is created in matter because of internal motion of atoms and molecules heat energy is present in every material in some proportion even in the coldest of matter the heat energy of a material increases when the kinetic energy or speed of its molecules increases so a material heats up when the speed of its molecules increases and cools down when the motion of the molecules becomes slower so what happens when heat is added or subtracted from a substance one its temperature rises or drops here note that heat is different from temperature two its state changes if we add heat to a substance the substance goes from solid to liquid to gaseous if we subtract heat the substance goes from gaseous to liquid to solid let us see some observations about heat heat flows because of temperature difference when there is flow of heat into a system it is positive flow of heat when there is flow of heat out of a system it is negative flow of heat thermodynamic work what is work work is the flow of energy from one system to another 
When do we say mechanical work has been done? We say that mechanical work has been performed when a body gets displaced because a force has acted on it. Mechanical work is equal to force into displacement. That is W equals F into D. Thermal energy flows between system and surroundings. But when do we say that thermodynamic work has been performed? Thermodynamic work is said to be done by the system on the surroundings if the complete external effect is lifting up of the body. For example, in a steam engine or an internal combustion engine, thermodynamic work is done. Internal energy in a thermodynamic system, the energy contained within a particular system is called as the internal energy of the system. This energy is by virtue of random disordered motion of the system's molecules. Internal energy equals potential energy plus kinetic energy. Internal energy comprises of two major components. Kinetic energy, which is due to the motion of the system's particles. It is the sum of rotational, translational, vibrational energies of a system's molecules. Potential energy. It is associated with the energy given out by the static constituents of matter. Chemical energy, nuclear energy constitute the potential energy of a system. Thermodynamic state. How do you describe the thermodynamic state of a system? Thermodynamic state of a system can be described by its thermodynamic parameters such as volume, temperature, pressure, density, enthalpy, entropy, internal energy. These properties are known as thermodynamic variables. These properties describe the state of the system. Hence, they are known as state variables.